Hello and welcome to Unit 5 of Interchange Book 2. And in this video we are going to look at modals of obligation. Okay, so let's get started. Marty and Rick are talking about the attractions in the tourist town they are visiting. You should go to the Go Faster Car Museum, man. Hmm. I don't really like cars, Marty. You don't have to like cars. It's an amazing virtual reality experience. Okay. I'm listening. You put on some glasses and sit in a chair and you think you're a Formula One driver. Cool. How much does it cost? You need to pay 20 euros for a ticket. That's reasonable. Oh yeah, and you must sign a disclaimer. A uh, disclaimer? Yeah, it's so the museum isn't legally responsible if you have a heart attack. I'd better call my doctor before I go. Why? I had heart surgery three years ago. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you ought to call him. Yeah, I have some strict rules I have to follow. Hmm, maybe you shouldn't go. It's pretty intense. So in the conversation, the two men used a selection of models of suggestion and obligation. And if you remember, models always go here in the auxiliary position, okay? which is just before the verb. The modals, like for example, ought to, help the verb. So you could say, I ought to go. She should go. I'd better go. You have to go. So which ones are modals of suggestion? And which ones are models of obligation? Well, must, need to, have to, and don't have to are models of obligation. And should, it better, and shouldn't are models of suggestion. So this is the strength of a suggestion. If we say should or it better, that's a strong suggestion. Obviously, if we say shouldn't, it means we suggest that they don't do something. An obligation, must, need to, and have to represent a strong obligation. And again, if it's a negative, don't have to, that means it's not an obligation, okay? So let's look at a situation. When you take a flight, you need to or should. Okay, so the two things we have are take your passport and listen to the safety instructions. Okay, on an aeroplane, at the beginning of the flight, someone will ask you to listen to safety instructions. Okay? But you don't have to, it's just a strong suggestion, okay? So if it's a suggestion, we would use should. On the other hand, to get on an aeroplane, you have to have your passport. That is an obligation. So for this one, you would use need to. So when you take a flight, you need to take your passport. It's an obligation. When you take a flight, you should listen to the safety instructions. It's a strong suggestion, it's a good idea, but it's not an obligation. Okay, so let's look at this example. It says, when you go to the movies, you have to or don't have to. Okay, so these are models of obligation. And our options are buy popcorn and buy tickets. Well, when we go to the cinema, uh, do we have to buy popcorn? Is it an obligation? Uh, no, it's not okay. This is just a um, this is just an option we have. Okay, we can select whether to buy popcorn or to not buy popcorn. So, when you go to the movies, you don't have to buy popcorn. However, when you go to the movies, if you want to see a movie, you have to buy tickets. Okay. There is no choice. You have to do it, okay? It's an obligation. You have to buy tickets. 
so when you go to the movies you don't have to buy popcorn and when you go to the movies you have to buy tickets and so our next example when you go to a restaurant you ought to which is a model of suggestion and must which is a model of obligation our options are make a reservation on and pay for your food okay so when you go to a restaurant do you have to make a reservation well you don't really have to there might be some um, free tables at the restaurant so it's a suggestion okay it, it's a good idea but you don't have to so we would use our model of suggestion when you go to a restaurant you ought to make a reservation okay and the next one pay for your food well when you finish your meal you have to pay for your food you have to pay for the service you don't really have a decision you have to do it it's an obligation so when you go to a restaurant you must pay for your food and now the last example when you go to some foreign countries you have to a model of obligation or you'd better a model of suggestion and our options are get vaccinations and do some research okay so when you go to a foreign country it's definitely a good idea to do some research to find out maybe about the language and the culture but it's not an obligation you can uh, go to a different country and not do any research and that's fine so we would use our model of suggestion it's better so when you go to some foreign countries you'd better do some research but vaccinations some countries won't let you in unless you have proof that you've had certain vaccinations okay so this is an obligation so when you go to some foreign countries you have to get vaccinations okay um, okay that's everything for this video so if you would like to try the activities below thank you